Hi, everyone. I'm Mark Eisenthal with you on this Thursday afternoon. Lots to talk about, so let's get right to it. We are in for a hot and steamy Thursday afternoon with sunshine developing. Watch for scattered afternoon showers and thunderstorms. And unfortunately, it now appears we are in for a wet 4th of July, even though Arthur is going to stay south. Some of the moisture will get entrained along a cold front stalling south of New England, and there will be very rough surf just to the south of Cape Cod, so mariners watch out for that. Let's check out the latest satellite loop here in the northeast, and you'll be able to see the clouds are breaking apart as of the midday hour. We will see some sunny splashes developing this afternoon. That's going to heat the atmosphere in advance of this cold front. Showers and thunderstorms will be breaking out later. Later on. Now, in terms of Arthur, here's the situation located about 260 miles southwest of Cape Hatteras. Top winds are 90 miles an hour, moving north northeast at 14 miles an hour. Central pressure down to 980. One millibars. You see an eye, almost an eye to this thing as it continues to move off to the north. Northeast will eventually recurve northeast. Now, in terms of the radar loop out of Charleston, South Carolina, you're almost going to see an eye on the lower uh, portion of your screen right in this position. You see heavy bands of rain coming in from the Atlantic Ocean. They're really going to get pummeled in south of North Carolina with a lot of rain and a lot of wind and wind gusts on the eastern side of the storm, of course, over 100 miles per hour. They're going to have a major league problem down there. Now, in terms of the storm track, this is what we're thinking, that the National Hurricane Center brings the storm uh, north-northeast and curving up more to the uh, northeast. Notice the cone of probability to the extreme northwest. It would bring it out over the Cape to the extreme southeast, southeast of the benchmark of 40 and 70. But the National Hurricane Center seems to feel that this storm is going to be moving at about, uh, oh, let's say, oh, three degrees on the compass scale with 360 being due north. So it's moving north-northeast, passing out or just southeast of the benchmark, which is 40 north and 70 west if you're trying to plot. And there it is by early Saturday morning, moving quickly off to the northeast. This track may be a little bit too slow. In this position, the worst of the weather stays off to our southeast, although we'll still get some pretty decent rain from it. Now, in terms of the surface map for us tomorrow afternoon, this is out of the uh, NAM model. We're looking at low pressure at about 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, well to the east-northeast of Cape Hatteras. What's happening is there's a weather front draped just to the south of us. And again, the moisture from Arthur is overrunning that front, and that's enhancing the rainfall. So there could be some uh, flash flooding in southern New England tomorrow afternoon. We'll have to follow that for you. A little convoluted, but there you go. Forecast for Boston talks about variable clouds, hot and muggy weather this afternoon in the 80s. Watch for afternoon showers and thunderstorms around. Overnight for the fireworks, maybe just a few showers and storms. Hopefully they get it in. Very tropical. It'll be in the 70s. Here's your five-day forecast starting with tomorrow. It's just a rainy and tropical day. There'll be some downpours. It'll be in the 70s. But Saturday comes. It's sunny and beautiful and dry, low 80s. Sunday, it's sunny and hot, 88. Partly sunny, hot on Monday. More humid, near 90. Watch for an afternoon thunderstorm. Tuesday, partly sunny and hot in the upper 80s. That's my forecast. Thanks for checking in. Please stay tuned for updates. I'm Mark Rosenthal.